Crestwood is a low-income, predominantly black neighborhood where rent started $60 a month. The first of the more than 400 units was built around 1937. The rest were added in the late 50s. Chesapeake Health Department officials say at some point in time, the homes were trimmed or coated with lead-based paint, paint that chips and because of its candy-like taste, often ends up in the mouths of small children. Two-and-a-half-year-old Monica Brown lives in Crestwood and has a severe case of lead poisoning. Just two weeks ago, she had to be admitted to King's Daughters Hospital in Norfolk for chemical treatments, and she's still being monitored for lead levels in her body. Well, I was shocked. I didn't know what to do. And um, I took on a Thursday to um, be tested, and they called me that Friday afternoon, told me she had to be admitted in the hospital. What kind of treatments has she been undergoing? Well, she was on some type of drug treatment for six days, and now she has to go through the hospital every week. Lead poisoning can lead to nerve and brain damage. That's why the Chesapeake Health Department canvassed homes in Crestwood and determined that 69 have children five years old and younger. The survey also revealed that 51 of the 69 units contain high enough lead levels to warrant an immediate scraping and repainting of exposed areas within a child's reach. That would be preferable, says the Health Department's Bob Hughes, to tearing down the housing. What we want to do is maintain the housing. We, in other words, we don't... Uh, we don't want to see the housing disposed of or demolished. We want it to be maintained because we're talking about uh, 460 some odd units over there. And these are people that are low income people and they need, uh, they need low income housing. They just can't afford anything anymore. The fix-up project could take two years or longer to complete. In the meantime, families with children who have the disease will be relocated to housing that doesn't contain high levels of lead. Ava Hurdle, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Chesapeake.